All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Fallout Who, where today I should first probably start by apologizing for not having a video on Saturday for this beautiful mod, but uh, as a lot of you probably already know from a couple of other videos that I've had out this week so far, I was tremendously ill. Oh god, it was pretty bad, and on the day when I was supposed to record Fallout Who, I literally couldn't go talking for more than a few seconds without basically hacking up a lung. So, uh, yeah, we had to skip that. And just my luck now, when I finally get to a video, it starts raining. It was sunny just seconds ago. Ah, uh, oh well, what are you gonna do? But for today's episode here, I have brought us to Sanctuary, rather than our typical start in the TARDIS that we've been doing recently, and my reason for that is, well, twofold. The first is that there are a lot of things, safes, computers, and even explosives, if I remember correctly, here in Sanctuary, that we need to test our sonic screwdriver on. We really haven't used the sonic yet. And yeah, I figure today is a good uh, day to go and have a gander at how it works and hopefully figure out some things about it, which uh, <laughs> could go well for us, could not. Who knows? But yes, thanks to a couple of you lovely commenters, though, uh, you have helped me at least figure out one thing. I was a little bit uh, wonky on how upgrades worked for the Sonic Screwdriver, and apparently, in this version, as it is right now, you discover the different uses of the Sonic by using it. That That's it. It's not like in Who Vegas where you had to build upgrades to do certain things. You just you know, just keep trying stuff with the Sonic until you eventually get it, I guess is how it goes now, which I actually kind of like that. I think that's interesting. So apparently things like uh, we can already attempt to disarm people with the Sonic, it just may not work every time, and it may not work with the first few times you give it a go. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued by that, so we're going to give it a try today, see how all it works, hopefully... Hopefully well, or it could go miserably. We'll we'll find out. And uh, the other reason I wanted to come here is because I wanted to play around and test the holotape coordinate things. So we're actually going to set the TARDIS primary holotape up with a random coordinate here in Sanctuary and then head back to the Fort Hagen filling station, which is where I left the TARDIS, and we're going to fly to hopefully our recorded location. I think that'll be quite fun to give that a try as we haven't done that yet. So uh, yeah, hopefully that should be some good stuff for us today, some good stuff. So let's start by going to that house. I believe that's the one with the computer. Boy, it's been a very long time since I've actually looted Sanctuary properly. So uh, yes, let's look for the computer and uh, actually I believe the bomb was in here too. Yes, bomb. Okay, 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 well, you know, I did just save just before we started, so, yeah, let's, um, try to disarm the bomb. <laughs> oh, God, it didn't work. It did work. It did not work in the slightest. Oh, we have two broken arms. Okay, that is, oh, oh, <laughs> all right, so, at least for right now, the Sonic will not disarm a bomb. Noted. Noted. So let's take ourselves a stim pack and uh, try the next thing. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I just remembered something. Uh, back in Who Vegas, one of the key things in there that was very, very much different from the base game was healing. Uh, human healing items like stim packs were actually poisonous to the Time Lord genetics or some bollocks, however they explained it. So you were not able to use stim packs. So I don't know if they just haven't implemented that yet because I have a feeling, yep, we're back to being fine and we're healing up. So I don't know if that's just not implemented yet into this game or if they don't plan to. But yeah, you had to use alternative healing items and even Gallifreyan ones, things like uh, the ginger beer, etc. to actually heal yourself. Uh, so that's, that's an interesting thing. I, I didn't even think about that before until we just needed to use this. Hmm... Let's have purified water too. There we go. Alright, so the bomb didn't work. Let's open up the safe. That didn't work either. How do we... 
Do I hit E? I mean, no, that just brings up to the novice lock. I can lock it by hitting R. Oh my, and now it's an expert lock. Oh, but if we hit R again... Okay, so that's just weird. You have to lock it and then unlock it. Well, that's that's awkward, but okay, we have things. <laughs> I'll take them. All right, now what about the computer? Hmm. No, I can't just click it. I, I am going to have to hack it. I guess maybe I, I can't hack a computer with it yet? Well, that seems odd. Can I just continuously click it? <laughs> Let's just keep hitting this until, you know, it does something. Maybe. Or I could be standing here for a very, very long time just going wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. But, um... Huh. So can it not hack computers? I mean, the locking thing... Oh, now we hit spacebar to lock. Interesting. Like, oh yeah, R would be transfer. Huh. So I'm intrigued why I can't hack. It says, if I actually do go back into here and to our uh, TARDIS manual, it does have stuff about the Sonic. I believe it's the last page. No, not the last page. No, not that one either. Uh, yes, toolkit. Uh, the Sonic screwdriver's core features are capable of great... Oh, no, wait, up at the top. Lock picking and hacking terminals are the Sonic's core features. Ha! Huh. Well... Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm not entirely sure what to do then here. Interesting. Well, we got, we were able to get the safe. But yeah, it's not giving me like a secondary option over here with for the Sonic. Hmm. Well, let's hit E again. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I have to hack something first. Oh, God, the hacking. All right, let's hack it first and then, I don't know tries somehow I don't even know where another computer would be to hack so I don't know if this would help us no I'm gonna I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave I want to hack it with the Sonic but that doesn't seem to be in the cards for me I'm wasting a lot of power though for the Sonic which I guess is a thing huh all right well we're gonna have to come back to the computer then I guess uh, where are other safes? Where are other safes? I know there are more, but I, for the life of me, just can't remember which buildings they're in. <laughs> uh, well, what are you going to do? Ooh, there's going to be bugs in here. Ooh, could we Sonic the bugs? Let's Sonic the rad roaches. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, it actually does damage! Very hard to actually hit him, though, with the Sonic. Ha! I killed a rat roach with a sonic screwdriver. Oh my god. That's... That's wonderful. Also a waste of the sonic's power. Let's get our baton out. There we go. Smash it with the baton. Anyone else in here? No? Was there a safe in here? No? Wall safe? No. No. No safe. Oh wait, no. Yep, safe. Ha ha! Ooh, can I do it even without the sonic on? Unlock? Yes, I can do it even without the Sonic in my hand. Huh? Interesting? Well, that's... new. Well, I guess, yeah, we can do the dismantle for components thing without it in our hand. Which I guess technically uses the Sonic, doesn't it? Does it make the wibbly noise? Yes, it does make the wibbly noise. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to the... I don't know. Let's go back to the computer. Maybe see if... With it not in our hands? <laughs> that doesn't seem like it would work, though. But hey, let's let's give it a try. What the hell? Nope. Still no other option. Damn. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on with that one, then. Hmm. Oh, God. Where are the other safes in here? I don't remember. Well, I know that there's the one in the root cellar. Let's go there. I know of that, at least. Might as well kill some more rad roaches, though, while we're here. Get some experience. Always good to have a little bit of that. I kind of want to kill them with the sonic screwdriver, though. <laughs> I mean, it's horribly wasteful of the power. But let's do it! Oh, God, Vats with this! Oh, no, he's too far away. Gotta get closer. Oh, God, it does nothing! It does nothing! <laughs> 
Oh god, okay, and pistol. Oh god, retreat, retreat to the robot. <laughs> I'm taking damage. Help me, Codsworth, help me. Oh god, I shot Codsworth, that's not what I intended to do. He's not mad at me though, he's not mad at me. Got him. Okay, good, he's still not mad at me, lovely. Sorry, Codsworth, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot you in the face. Uh, well, I'm gonna loot them too. Blowfly glands. You never know, and you might need them. <laughs> uh, video games. Yeah, there wasn't a safe in this building, I don't think. I don't. Th oh, wait, maybe. Oh no, there is. I'm horrible. Okay, yeah. So we don't even use the Sonic really for these things. So, like, if I use the Sonic and do that, it does. It does nothing, I don't think. Yeah, so I just gotta hit R to unlock. Huh. That's so very weird. So we don't even need the Sonic in hand. I guess you do when you're trying to disarm an opponent. So that's a thing. But for, I guess, just general functions, like unlocking stuff, you don't. Which still seems very strange. And why is the hacking not working? All right, down in here. Ooh, we weren't able to get into this safe earlier, were we, when we came here to pick up the stuff for the TARDIS? Oh, yeah, I'm picking up, <laughs> picking up more junk while I'm here. Ah, uh, yes. Unlock! <laughs> to hell with you, advanced lock. Perfect. I'm gonna take my gold bars, too. Excellent. All the loot that I need. <laughs> well, not quite all. I'm gonna leave a lot of crap. Uh, did I leave anything else in here that I should probably pick up? You know, aluminum cans would probably be a good thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, we're good there. Okay, back out. <laughs> uh, I'm, try I'm trying to think. Is there another safe in this last building? I don't... I don't know, but we'll give it a look. Get out the 10 millimeter. And shoot things in the face. Ooh, did this one have a safe? No, I think it was, well, there's the stuff up on the roof. We also do, of course, need loot for actually, you know, fixing our TARDIS. <laughs> we need junk so we can repair it, make some upgrades, do some things. Plus, I need ammo because ammo is wonderful. I now have grenades. Oh, I'm going to kill myself with them. And it's going to go horribly wrong. All right, I think that's it for the safes, question mark. Oh, God, blowfly. Die! Oh god, they're coming through! Yeah. Damn you, blue pie! Perfect. Truly, I am the, the you know, most wonderful of Time Lords, gunning people down with my 10 millimeter. <laughs> uh, I'm an awful Time Lord. I can't even hack a damn computer! <laughs> I'm still very, very annoyed by that, that it's not letting me hack that thing. Huh. All right, well, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to now do the uh, waypoint thing. So, this means we basically got everything here that I care about, and we were not able to do the computer thing. So, what we're going to do is we have to point in the direction we want the door, I believe. So, if we do it this way, primary holotape, load that up. And store space-time coordinates. Haha, -ha, they have been stored. Beautiful. Okay, now let us fast travel back to Fort Hagen. Get back in the TARDIS, and we'll uh, fast travel here. Well, not fast travel here, but fly with the TARDIS. Mwahaha. <laughs> I'm still I'm wondering about the hacking. Is there something else I have to do? Any of you guys who are watching this and have also been playing along, have you figured out how to hack with the Sonic yet? Because it confuses me. I want to know. <laughs> we now know we can unlock things, and I can apparently shoot stuff with the Sonic, which I find weird, considering the Sonic's not supposed to be a weapon. Oh god, oh god, hidden. From people that might be around and wanting me dead. I don't feel like regenerating yet. I have plans to do that myself when it comes. Alright, in we go. You know, I never locked the TARDIS when I left. <laughs> There's probably people inside now. Probably angels. Waiting, waiting to kill me. Yeah.
No, we're good. Okay, close the door. <laughs> All right. First, close the door. Then I need to go. No, not engine release. Where's the new... Crap, I've forgotten which one opens up the workshop mode. I mean, I know I could also... I, I, I need to store things. That's why I need it. Activate. No, no. Ah, it's this. Haha! -ha! That switch. I thought it was a panel. Okay, let's store all the junk we just picked up. Perfect. And yes, lovely. Lovely. Now, what we can do is fly. So let's head back to Sanctuary now by putting in the magnetic card reader, the primary hollow tape. Then, of course, the Z. Nope, nope, that's, that's free flight. Damn it. Nope, 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 nope. I've screwed it up already. Eject hollow tape. Put it back in. All right. Primary cord, it's inserted. Helmic regulator. Space time throttle. Maximum as per usual. Locking down mechanism. Dematerialization circuit. And deactivate the stabilizers. We can take it. Oh, wait, no, I just activated them. Damn it. Turn them off. <laughs> It's more fun this way. There we go. Perfect. Let's try and get a good flight this time. Want a good flight? No damage. With my luck, we'll blow ourselves up, though. We'll probably go through a space-time eddy, and that's never a good thing. The double vision is very annoying. You know, that's a good location right there, because we never seem to get anything on that opposite panel over there. Now watch as I say that. We get something. Except no, we are we went pretty quickly. There we go, a nice quick flight. 3% wear and tear. And if we open the door and head outside, we should be in sanctuary. Assuming I did that whole thing right. Please let it be right. <laughs> There's no, I'm out in the void somewhere. Unknown to space nor time. With my luck. Oh, come on, we were just here. Why are you taking so long to load? Okay, and we're at Forest Grove Marsh. That did not go... What? <laughs> um, I, I, think, I think I messed it up. I think I messed it up. Okay, let's go inside. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, I did something... Oh, I... I oh, I... Did, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Okay, 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 okay. Let's take the hollow tape back out. Eject. Okay. I have a feeling I know what I did wrong. I did not hit navcom first. Program flight initiated. Insert primary hollow tape. Then helmet regulator. Space time thought. It didn't go. Crap. Okay. 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 I've done it. I've done it horribly wrong again. Ah, damn it! Eject hollow tape. Let's go to the manual. <laughs> I thought that this was gonna be simple. Oh, but no, no. Okay, flying, maintenance mode, flight, custom locations. The TARDIS console is provided with a magnetic card reader that allows it to read hollow tapes that have been used to record space-time coordinates. To record coordinates, insert one of the three location hollow tapes provided into a pit boy standing and facing at the desired location and direction. To load, insert recorded hollow tape into console magnetic reader, then active. Oh, and it loads it into the navcom. Oh, <laughs> okay, all right. Let's put that back in there then. Then navcom mode. Go over here. You know, I should have probably read things through more. Okay, navcom databank. So it is it in. Ah, hollow tape data. Perfect. Primary data stored. All right. There we are. There we go. All right. Helmet regulator. Space time throttle to maximum. Then locking down mechanism and dematerialization. And we fly. Okay. Now we should be taken back to sanctuary. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah, I thought I knew what I was doing with that one, but apparently not. I should have reread it before starting the episode. <laughs> well, at least we discovered a new location in the world, so that's a good thing. Uh, where's the next one? Oops, switch over here. Perfect. Perfect. You know what we're doing? We did well on the last flight. Looks like we're doing well on this one, too. Getting to him. Yeah, this is a good place to stand right here. You have good view of all of them, because that panel doesn't seem to get used. Yeah, okay, cool, we're landing. That, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, this whole panel right here does not appear to get used during flight mode. So, yeah, that's a good place to stand. You can see all the relevant stuff. Good, good. Now we open the door. And hopefully now we're in Sanctuary. Or we could be somewhere else that I just completely screwed up on. But no, I, f I, feel, I feel we did it right this time, considering the navcom mode and... You know, actually reading instructions, that's generally a smart thing to do. Hmm. That's probably why I never do it. <laughs> oh, good times. We're loading! Ha-ha! We're here! And yep, there we go. So the door is facing the direction that I faced. Perfect, perfect. Let us lock the TARDIS. Why is it not locking the TARDIS? I don't think we can actually lock the TARDIS. Let's get out the screwdriver. Nope, can't seem to lock the TARDIS. Do I have to have the key in my hand? No, I shouldn't need to do that. Interesting. Well, maybe we just can't lock it yet. Perhaps that's a thing in the game right now. Again, still a work in progress. But there we go. We have functionally used the holodeck thing. Or not holodeck, holotape. Oh, jeez. And the one thing we just can't seem to figure out for now is the damn hacking. Which annoys me because I really, really want to hack computers more easily with a screwdriver rather than, you know actually having to do work but oh well hopefully we'll figure it out as time goes by and perhaps you guys in the comments can help me out with that figuring out why in the world this isn't working yeah click it everywhere use all the power to do this let's waste everything in the screwdriver and we had no longer have any power lovely lovely yep didn't work okay yeah, if you guys have any ideas, I am I am all ears. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. I think it's been a successful episode. We did get some loot, which we definitely have needed to get some more crap for doing things. Uh, we, of course, also have tested out the Sonic on a few things, learned that we can attack people. We can unlock stuff, just not hack so far. And yeah, things have gone pretty well. So that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course you do come back for the next win. Um, I don't know. I think next episode maybe we'll do a decorate the TARDIS day or something. Let's recharge this though real quick. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. But that's going to be it, folks. I hope you have enjoyed. You do come back for the next one. Until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.